Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today, let's take a look at the updated version of Samplerbox using the Pirate Audio Board. This was partially developed by my viewer Glenn Meter. And while we're here, let's also take a look how you can create your own multi-samples using a Linux tool named AutoSampler. Here we go. The hardware list for today's video is fairly short. You'll need the Raspberry Pi, you'll need the Pirate Audio Board, You'll need a MIDI controller and an SD card, and that's it. Now just push down the audio board onto the Raspberry Pi like this, and then this. Now open the web page shown on screen right now and download the ISO file, unzip it and copy it to an SD card. Then follow the link to Glenn's page and grab the three configuration files and copy the config text file to the root folder, the configuration text file to the sample box folder and added the Wi-Fi networks text file and also copy it to the configuration folder. And while there, Make sure you grab some of the example sounds and copy them to a USB stick. Now insert the SD card and the USB stick into your Raspberry Pi, connect your MIDI keyboard, an audio and perhaps a network cable and then switch on your device. Booting will take only some seconds. Once the sampler box has booted, it will load the first sound from your USB stick. In this example, an FM piano sound sampled from my Reface DX synthesizer. The Pirate Audio Board has this nice tiny screen here with four buttons at its side. With the left buttons, you can switch through options or change values. While with the buttons on the right side, you can go deeper into a menu or go back to the parent menu. Interestingly, the upper button will take you deeper, while the lower button will take you back to the parent menu. I'll show you by turning on reverb and the chorus effect on this sound. So use the lower right button to access the general menu and then you can flick through all the effects using the left hand buttons. Choose reverb and press the upper right button to go deeper into the reverb menu and then use the left buttons again to turn the reverb effect on or off. Now press the lower right button again to go up in the menu and use the left side buttons to switch through the reverb options. You will find things like room size, wet dry ratio and width here. Other effects you can set up here are flanger, delay, wah, distortion and chorus. I'll turn on chorus as well and now we've got this sound. The Raspberry Pi 3 used here can't handle two effects at once, so I'll turn off chorus again. Also, I noticed Samplerbox didn't register all the note off events, which gave me hanging notes as you can hear in the background right now. Okay, let's check some other sounds you can download from the Samplerbox homepage and then let's take a quick look at how you can create your own Malta samples. Again, hanging note. And there are different velocity layers here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so last time I used my MPC for creating multi-samples and today let's do that on the Raspberry Pi. For this, some basic knowledge on using secure shell and terminal prompts is needed. I'm going to use the Pi 400 with an USB audio interface here, so I don't need to tweak the sample box. I'm going to sample my Reface DX, which is connected to one of the Raspberry Pi's USB ports. Its audio out is connected to the line in and that's it. Now log in to the Raspberry Pi and install a library named CSound by typing sudo apt-get install CSound into a terminal window. After that is done, download the program named Autosampler, developed by Jeanette C. This provides the same functionality as the MPC's Autosampler for any Linux machine. Unzip the file and then open the autosampler.csd file in an editor. You now need to uncomment some lines and some parts of this script. As ALSA is Linux standard audio and MIDI system, we'll uncomment the lines RT audio equals ALSA and RT MIDI equals ALSA by removing the semicolon at the start of the line. Now go back to your terminal window and enter A MIDI minus L. Memorize the ALSA number of your MIDI device, in this case HW colon 300, then go back to the editor. Uncomment and edit the line specifying Autosample's MIDI device and then scroll down to the end of the file. Uncomment one of the autosampler commands and change the name of your patch and adjust the parameters as explained in the script. Save this, go back to your shell window and enter csound autosampler.csd and the script should start creating samples for you. You can then transfer those WAV files to your USB stick and create the definition file as already shown. By the way, SamplerBox will use the loop points you can set in WAV files, for example in Audacity. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more Raspberry Pi projects in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can become a channel member using the button under this video, or become a patron of this channel over on Patreon, like these awesome people here. And if you want to opt for one-time support, you can use the Super Thanks button, or buy some of my music on Bandcamp. Thank you very much.
Yeah, and that's it for today. The updated version of Samplerbox on the Raspberry Pi is simple to install and easy to use Rompler. And if you found this interesting or useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.